Now we're on the settings screen looking at payroll codes. Payroll codes are primarily used for linking your LMN time with your accounting, usually QuickBooks, to make sure employees are paid the right rate for the work that they're working on. In normal circumstances, employees are paid a fixed wage per hour or a salary, and it doesn't vary, and then it's very simple to set up. You may have a payroll code for hourly, for salary, and for hourly overtime, and that's pretty much all you need. Where you could really use this is if you pay your employees differently for different types of work that they do, or you simply want to track different wages to different divisions. Here's where you can set up different payroll codes to not only make sure that the employees are paid the correct wage for the type of work they're doing, you could also use it to make sure that the wages get dumped into the appropriate payroll account. If you have different accounts in your chart of accounts for maintenance payroll costs versus construction payroll costs. The simplest way to set this up quickly is to show you what it looks like in QuickBooks. Here's an employee, Dave Barr, in QuickBooks, and I'm on his payroll information page. Dave has four different effective wages. He's got his regular wage, which is $13 an hour when he's working on maintenance work. He gets paid $19.50 when working in overtime on maintenance. That's his regular wages, time and a half. When Dave works on snow jobs, however, he gets paid a premium. Dave's effective hourly wage on snow is $16 an hour, and that translates to $24 an hour in overtime. Now these are payroll items set up here under the list under payroll items. Payroll items are each linked to the chart of accounts that you want them to go to, but effectively or, or primarily, they're used for making sure the employee is paid the correct rate based on the type of work they're doing. So what we can do in LMN time is set up and link different payroll codes to the QuickBooks payroll items to make sure employees are paid correctly. For instance, under the job types, I can go to the snow job and under the payroll tab, I can override the employee's normal wages to say, when employees work on jobs that are set to the snow type, use the snow hourly payroll item and the snow overtime payroll item and the salary for salary payroll item. That's how you can apply uh, payroll codes to entire job types so that any job that's created as a snow job would use the snow hourly, the snow overtime, and the salary payroll rates. Now, if you don't want to do it by type and you want to do it by specific job, for example, uh, prevailing wages where you might not want to create a whole job type for prevailing wages, but it may apply to a specific job, you could simply go to the job, open up the payroll tab, and override the job type default. So for example, this city of Dundas splash pad, its job type should be installation. So it would by default use the installation payroll codes. Now, if this was prevailing wage work, what I can do is go to payroll and set the hourly wages properly. So I could say prevailing wage hourly, prevailing wage overtime, and maybe my salary employees will still get paid their field salary. So if I save that, now whenever I export time related to this job, it's not going to use the employee's normal wages. It will use the wages that have been assigned to the payroll items that are linked to prevailing wage hourly, prevailing wage overtime. So as long as you have the rates for each employee set up for these payroll items, it's going to make sure that your QuickBooks pays the right wages for the right jobs without any need to manually make any adjustments.